All right. I want to give you all a little update on the uh, cabin situation here. Um, as to how many cabs we have. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Got 16 calves on the ground right now. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of them are heifers and the other four are bull calves. Um, we would like to have more bull calves, but in my opinion, at least we got a live, living calf on the ground. Um, so yeah, we got... One, two, three, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We've got twenty more to go. So that's thirty six. Thirty-six more uh cows to calve and um yeah, so knock on some form of wood. There's a cane right here. Knock on some form of wood we haven't really had any trouble or trouble um, dealing with them as of yet but um but yeah um, I'm just looking at the sheet right here we got the cow's number listed how many months she was bred and um, then right here we just put in the what the calf looks like if it's a bull or heifer color um, the date it was born and if it's tagged or not um hence while we have the gator here we go out there in the field catch the calf tag it check to see if it's a bull or heifer and write it down and then keep the records good keep the records good like that um there's the tags in there in that little box there's a marker also and here's the tagger there you go so um there's that that was a bird um yeah the gator is nasty it is nasty um whenever we get done calving here probably may sometime in may i'll i'll probably pressure wash this thing make it look a little bit more um desirable and yes it might be warm out here but we're still going to keep them doors on that gator while we're doing this um sometimes you grab a calf and that mama cow is it kind of happy so she's a little unsettled so um that just keeps us for a safety measure um and but most of the time we can just go out there grab a calf tag it check it mama cow's just fine we do have one upper that will get you for the first two weeks she has the calf you don't mess with it then after that perfectly fine do whatever you want with it um but yes, we did tag it um, here last week. Late last week, uh, the calf was inside that hay feeder, and uh, the mama cow was outside. So that's perfectly that's steel around that steel metal. So that was as good as time as any to uh, tag it. And that mama cow just came running up, and we thought she was going to tear down the whole feeder, but got it got it tagged. Let it go back out the feeder and. They're perfectly fine, so. But, um, there's a little bit of calving update for you. Um, it's, go it's going good. Um, yeah. That, so that's that. It's just a muddy mess and can't really do much. And we did take out two bales of alfalfa to them. Just to, uh, get them all in one area so we can count them and see who's missing. But, yeah. Um, green grass everywhere. Um. I've kind of adopted my own saying. Uh, I, I like to mow grass before Easter, and here, here Easter is in two weeks. So it sounds like I might be mowing grass, but I'm not gonna get any hurry about it because once you start mowing, it don't stop growing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, you know, it's starting to get a little bit more busier around here. Um, yeah, a little bit more. Um, just take it day by day and i think once it once the ground dries up as long as it's still warm we're going to plan on probably spread manure for sure and 
um, possibly spreading fertilize on pasture ground. That could be what happens when it dries up. So, get to see what happens. So, thanks for watching. Catch y'all later. plug his fence back up um yeah manure is still there but no well it'll get there whenever we get there so there they go they made it all right catch y'all later i got the gator stuck ah, here comes the 6420 here we go